Hey, I'm Jesswa, and I'm digging in the crates with cool accidents. I'm a savage, I'm a cunt. Now what a bad bitch is, please move to the front. I want that ass bit, baby plump. Now what a bad bitch is, please move to the front. I bought your album, now I want a refund. Yo. Yes, this is one of my favorite ones, this one. This is Bob Marley in the Wales. It's probably the first, this is one of the first records I ever bought. I used to listen to this on tape and CD. This reminds me 100% all of my childhood, every one of these songs. It's got classics, No Woman, No Cry, Could You Be Love, Three Little Birds. Pretty much got all you want. A classic, classic album from my childhood. Big Floyd. Oh, yes, Good Kid, Mad City, Kendrick Lamar. I feel like any MC or rapper, this would be one of your favorite albums. Number three thing. Yeah, this one, Cardi B, Invasion of Privacy. Bodak Yellow, I like it, I like it. We used to play that at the start before every set. Made the song Money Bag, I Do featuring Seza. She dropped the number one album, I mean in the country, she's one of the first ra female rappers to do what she did with this album. And I think it's like highly important and it was really, I feel like, you know, when Bodak Yellow came out and we were all just celebrating, it just felt like a celebrated time. So she's very important, and so is Nikki, and so is, I feel like, any female in hip hop. And yeah, to be doing what she was doing is huge. I love it, I love her, I love Nikki, I love it all. Crowded. Oh, yes. Another great album, Lauren Hill, Miss Education. Her flow, her delivery, her lyrics, everything, she was just, one of my favorite MCs of all time. And having only released one solo album, and this being it, I mean, you would just be so happy. Childish, great album, great album. I've done so much hip hop there, this is the best record still though. Oh, Talking Heads, yes. On the Gold Coast, we'd just go down to op shops and try and score some, like dig through the crates for hours to try and score some records for a dollar or 50 cents. And this is one of the records I walked away with for 50 cents. And I'd never heard Talking Heads before at all. I was just, I just liked the cover. Like, oh, that's a pretty cool cover, I'll take it home. I remember putting it on and just, yeah, falling in love with them. Psycho Killer was one of my favorite songs. As well as Burning, Burning Down the House. I actually have to get my record collection going again. That's a classic album. Oh, here we go. Queen, A Night at the Opera. My cousin had all these random CDs. It was like David Bowie, Queen. And I like took the CDs and I was just starting to play piano and guitar at the time. So I was trying to like, I was learning by ear. So I was trying to get some good reference tracks. And I remember playing this album and I was like, who the fuck is Freddie Mercury? I was like, he's absolutely amazing. It's asking why my mom didn't show me it sooner. Highly recommend. Yeah. Fleetwood Mac Rumors, get that too. D'Angelo, great album. Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, okay. This is Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. It reminds me of my best friend, Eden. We, when this came out, I just I feel like we just sat around and felt sorry for ourselves. It was quite bizarre because I was like discovering Kendrick Lamar and Lana Del Rey at the same time, which was pretty weird because I'll listen to Good Kid, Mad City, and then listen to Born to Die. And yeah, I mean, there's so many more records I could choose. This record store is amazing. If you're at your local record store, go support it. Go buy some records.